everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the top three sets American Girl has recently released. So if you are new to my channel, welcome, be sure to click on the subscribe button down below and the notification bell in the corner to notified every time I upload a new video. I did just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me these items so I'm able to open and review them on my channel. And this video is a shopper's gift guide so shoppers can get an overview of the items so they can decide what they'd like to purchase. The first set we're going to be taking a look at is Angelo's Bakery. Claudia Wells is a historical character and her collection is inspired by 1920s Harlem, New York. So a lot of the items and accessories a part of her collection are inspired by that time period. This set here is Angelo's Bakery. It's the main feature item a part of her collection and it comes with different food and accessory items you would have seen in a bakery set up back in the 1920s. Now that we've unwrapped the packaging of the different accessory items, here we have an overview of the main feature pieces. As I show each accessory item, I'm going to be placing it down so we're able to see what Angela's Bakery looks like completely set up. So let's go ahead and start off with the front of the bakery. And here we have the front side of Angelo's Bakery set. It says Angelo's Bakery over in the front, and this cabinet is built in, so it stays in place. We have some shelving units and cupboards that open up, and there's some over by the bottom here too. And there's also some pictures of different bread and baked goods at the bakery over by the back. Let's go ahead and add some accessory items to the set. So the first item we have here is a container of sugar. What I love about this item is that the powder moves around just to make it look more realistic. And we do have that sugar label over at the front. Then we also have this item here too, and it's brown sugar. You can see that there's a gold finish to it, and it does look like the sequins are a lot thicker, but they do also move side to side as well. So that can go right next to it like so. We also have a box of rolled oats here. There's some details on the front and also on the side. And then we also have a container of olive oil as well. That can go right next to it. And then as for this section, we're going to be adding in some strawberry jam, perfect for some pastries and some sweet treats as well. Up next, we have some measuring cups. There's a total of four. So there's a quarter, a third, a half, and a cup. And you can actually remove them so you can separate them, which is really great. That can go over by the side there. We also have a piping bag as well, which is perfect for decorating different sweet treats and desserts at the bakery. The set also comes with two cans. There's two sliced Hawaiian pineapple cans, and there's a gorgeous floral design over on the back, and they're both styled exactly the same. And as for the bottom shelf, we're just going to be placing down the bowl. It's a gorgeous teal color, and I love how it matches the blue-green theme of the set. Up next, we have the trolley. There's a total of three different shelves, and we're going to be adding different baked goods to the set. It can just sit over by the side of the bakery. There are wheels over by the bottom, but they don't actually work. They're just for decoration. So over by the top shelf, we're going to be adding in this braided loaf of bread. It's quite large. It does take up a lot of space, so we'll just add that over there. Then we also have two baguettes as well, and that can just sit next to the loaf of bread. And as for the middle shelf, we're going to be placing down two loaves of rye bread. I love the detail of the item. It looks very realistic. So we have a total of two of those, and they're styled exactly the same. Then we also have three pretzels as well. And you can see that those look quite realistic too. And we'll add all three to this section as well. I'm not going to be adding any sweet treats or items over by the bottom shelf, but just to show you the wheels, they don't actually spin. They stay in place. The set does come with an apron. It's a gorgeous teal color, and I love how it matches the blue-green theme of the set. There's a piece of Velcro which opens up. There's no design on the front or on the back, and then there's some ties here so you're able to wrap it around. We're just going to place it over the trolley like that, and we're going to move the trolley over to the side so we can set up the next section of the bakery. This bench is going to have a lot of baking themed items. This is where all the pastries and the sweet treats are made at Angelo's Bakery. I love how the table is teal to match the theme of the set and it's surprisingly quite heavy as it's made out of a wooden material. So let's go ahead and start off with this item over here. It's a piece of rolled out dough. It just makes it look very realistic a part of the setup so you can place it on the bench like that. It looks like some sort of pastries being made and then we also have the rolling pin as well. So if you place the rolling pin on top of the pastry, it just sits like that so it looks like it's in the middle of being rolled out. We also have a container of eggs here as well. Three of them are green and three of them are more of a peach color. The container lid does open and close. It says fresh eggs, so if you clip it in place, it'll stay like that. Or else you can open it back up again. And there's a total of six that can go in the middle. Then over by the other side, we're going to add in some milk. So it says pasteurized milk, New York, as Claudie's storyline is based in Harlem, New York. I love how that's a great addition to the set. And the next item we have here is a flour sifter. So it's black and silver. There's a handle over on the back, so you're able to hold on to the sifter. And there's a handle over on the side that you're able to twist. And it just twists the item inside. So that can go over there. Next to it, we have a masher. There's a handle over by the top, and it matches the theming of the flour sifter. And then the third item we have here is a box of baking soda. So it's made out of paper, just like the rolled oats box. It is a lot smaller, and that can just sit over by the other side. 
Over by the side of the baker's bench, there are two hooks. There's the spoon and the whisk. We've already placed both of those items on that. Then we also have a bag of self-raising flour. There's stuffing inside of the flour bag itself, and that can sit right next to it there. This item here is a three-tiered bakery case. So you can display all of the sweet treats a part of Angelo's Bakery. I love how it's clear at the front so you're able to see the different food inside. And then we also have an addition over by the side for the checkout counter too. Let's add some accessories and items over by the top shelf. So the first item we have here is a money box. There's a handle over by the top and the lid does open and close. There's three different compartments and there's three different types of coins. So I've already added those items there. So we'll just go ahead and close that for now. And the set also comes with a few $1 bills. So we'll just add that right next to it over there. One of my favorite decor items a part of the set would definitely have to be this item over here. It's a three-tiered case, and I've just added some fresh fruit to it as well. These plates aren't actually a part of the case. You can remove them or else you can add them like that. So we have some fresh berries over by the top, some bananas, and some lemons over by the bottom shelf. We're going to be adding a main feature item over by the other side of the bakery case. So we have a stand for the cake. This cake is very extravagant. There's some white icing. I love the detail of it. And then we have some lemon slices over by the bottom. Definitely takes up most of the cake stand. And I love the detail of the item. We also have a serving item that can go right next to the stand and the cake. Up next, we have a strawberry pie. I love the detail at the front here, and they're split into a half piece and two quarter pieces, and they can be removed from the actual bowl as well. This is what it looks like on the inside. We're going to add that over by one side. And as for the other side, we have the sweet potato pie. Here's what it looks like on the inside of that. It's more of an orange color. The strawberry one is more of a red pink color, and then that's two quarter pieces and a half piece as well. The set does also come with a few different price tags that you can place next to the sweet treat. So we have this one, it says 50 cents, so it's going to be 50 cents a slice. Let's move right along to another sweet treat. This can go over by the middle shelf. It is a roll and it's guava and orange flavored. So there's two small slices. And then we actually have the main roll all connected together and we just have it in this tin tray. So that can go over there. We're going to add a price tag with that. So we're going to say it's 35 cents a slice. And then we also have a chocolate cake here too. I love the icing feature over on the front. There's one slice that's separated from the rest of the set. So you can have it like that to make it look complete or else you can have it to make it look like there's already been a piece taken out of the set. So we're going to add it like that. We'll place it there. And then we're also going to add a price tag because it's going to be different from the rule and that is going to be 25 cents. So that can go right next to it like so. These next two sets of sweet treats look amazing. So first off, we have a pineapple inspired cake. So you can see it's very orange. This is what it looks like on the bottom. It's more of a cake. Then we have some icing over on the top with a pineapple as well. There's a total of four pieces and I love how they're not connected together so you can add them onto different plates. We're also going to be adding a price tag. So we're going to say that that's 75 cents a slice. And then we also have these banana coconut fritters. These are connected together. There's two sets of three. These look so delicious and so realistic too. We're going to add that just over by the other side. And we're going to say that that's 20 cents a piece. So that can go right next to it like so. So we've completely decorated the entire bakery case. I've just moved the self-raising flour bag to the other side of the baker's bench. We also have this item we're going to be placing down too. It is a baker's paddle and it's perfect for baking different goods in the oven. What's great about the set is that it's double-sided. So over by one side, we have the actual bakery set up. And then over by the other side, we have the section where you make the different sweet treats and the bread. So this item here is a built-in oven. It doesn't actually work. It's just for decoration. But you can lift this item and it lifts this section up to make it look like you can place the sweet treats inside as if it's baking. And then you can close it again when it's finished. So for example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up. And I have this strawberry pie here with the paddle. We're going to place it inside of the oven like so. And then when it's finished, we can lift it like that and move it out of the way. And in case if you're wondering, here's what the setup looks like with the trolley over by one side and the bench over in the middle. And in case if you're wondering, there is also a hook over by the side wall here for the apron. So for storage, you can actually close the walls together. So I've already closed that side. It doesn't completely shut because of the oven, but you can close it three quarters of the way so you can just have it like that move it out of the way place it for storage and when you're ready to set up the set again you can open it up like so and the next set we're going to be taking a look at is from the truly me line and it's the american girl hotel and spa set this set is a two-in-one set as one side features a hotel room setup while the other side features a spa setup. As I show each smaller accessory item, I'm going to be setting it up in the American Girl Hotel and Spa so you're able to see the set completely styled overall. 
Now that we've unwrapped the packaging from the set, let's go ahead and take a look at the American Girl Hotel and Spa. So over in the middle, we have this bed set up. It does fold up, which is perfect for storage, and you can fold it down and it opens up to a bed. We have this frame here, so you're able to add artwork, and we also have this bed head here, and this is made out of plastic. This item is removable, it's made out of wood, and it's just meant to be for the mattress, so you can place it down like that so it stays in place. And then we also have this gorgeous flower design featured over at the front, and that design is featured on a lot of the accessories a part of the set. Let's go ahead and place the mattress down on the bed. It's this gorgeous light pink color. There's definitely a lot of pink accessories and items a part of the set, so it does match the theme to it. Then we also have a reversible comforter as well. There's two different options to choose from. So over by one side, we have this really pretty flower design. I love the pink and the green, and then over by the other side, it's a light green color. Between these two options, I'm going to pick the side with the flowers on it. And over by the back of the bed, we're going to add the pillows. There's a total of two. They say American Girl Hotel and Spa on them. They're pink and green, and we have that flower design over in the middle to match the bed. They're both styled exactly the same, so we're going to place them here like so. Over by the side of the bed, we're going to be placing down this robe. I love the detail of it. There's a gorgeous floral design to match a lot of the set itself. There's some pink over by the straps and in the middle of the set too. We're just going to place it over by the side here just so it's displayed like so. The set also comes with some pink slippers too. This side table here could be used in both the spa section and the hotel section of the room setup. There's some shelving units. It's made out of a lightweight plastic and there's also a section over by the top to display some items. So we have a plant here that's going to go over by the side and right next to it, we're going to be placing a glass of water. Right next to the bedroom, we have the bathroom section. There's a main feature mirror over in the middle and as for the wallpaper, it looks like tile decor. And right below the mirror, we have the toilet and the sink. The toilet's over by one side and you can fold it up, which is really great for storage. And then we also have the sink over here too. The tap does move from side to side. We're going to add some items right next to it. So we have this bar of soap that's a part of the set. I can go over there. And right next to it, we have some hand and body lotion. There's also a toilet roll just next to the toilet. Over by the other side of the bed, we have this lovely design over by the back wall. So these curtains are printed on, they're not real. So they look like they're open and they're revealing this gorgeous window of this garden. There's trees, rocks, and there's water as well. There's a ledge over by the side here. This is printed on as well. It's not real. There's towels and there's a little plant as well. A spa setup would not be complete without a lounge chair. So this lounge chair lays completely flat. It is made out of plastic in case if you're wondering, so it is very lightweight, but you can have it also in a seated position as well. So this section does open up. So if you connect it to the first section, it'll look more of like a lounge chair rather than completely flat, or else you can place it in the second section and it looks like it's seated a little bit more. There are a total of four sheets of paper part of the set themed to the hotel. So we have guest services and it shows some of the features of the hotel, like the pool and spa. Then we also have a local guide. There's an invoice and there's different wellness activities as well. I have organized the sheets of paper into this folder here. There's a total of three different compartments, one on either side and one in the middle as well. So let's go ahead and fold it up and we'll just have it displayed over by the side here. I had the side table displayed over next to the bed, but I think I'm going to add it over to the lounge chair here just so we have a storage place for the towel. So we have the plant and then the ice water and then we also have these two shelving units. So here we have the towel. There's a total of two apart of the set. I love this design. It says American Girl Hotel and Spa. It's completely plain for the rest of the set. What we're going to do is we're going to fold it up so it fits into the compartment itself. So we're going to fold it again and we'll add it like that. And then we also have the second towel here as well. We'll fold that up and we'll add that there too. And here we have an overview of the hotel section of the room set up with the lounge chair over by one side, the bed over in the middle and the toilet and vanity section over on the other side. I love how there's different compartments and room setups within the room itself. So let's go ahead and style the spa section of the room. And here we have the other side of the setup. This design is perfect for a reception or a front counter area of a spa. So we have designs of towels, there's different products like sugar scrubs. There is a sugar scrub a part of the set, but we'll set it up over by the bath. We also have this little design over in the middle as well. And then we also have a door design that says changing room. The front counter does take up most of the space of this front section, but here's what the back of the front counter looks like. So there's some shelving units, and then we also have a back shelf too. And here's the front of the front counter. It says American Girl Hotel and Spa. There's a plant design. This is made out of plastic, so it's not actual plants. There's another counter here, and there's some shelving units on either side too. So let's add this item to the setup. It is a bottle of hand sanitizer. It does say hand sanitizer on the front, and here's what the back looks like. We'll add that over on the top shelf. And as for the bottom shelf, we have this item, and it is calming massage oil, and it's styled very similar to the body wash that we added over to the bathroom setup on the other side.
Over by the back shelf, we're going to be adding in this pitcher. It has some cucumber water, and then we also have another glass of ice water. There's a total of two a part of the set. I'm going to be using some of the items a part of the spa setup that I already used in the hotel room setup just to show you how you can use the accessories in both room setups. So we have this plant over here. We already added that to the hotel, but I'm just going to add it over by the side of the counter. The set comes with a monitor and you can move the screen up and down depending on how you'd like to display it. So we'll display it like that. And then it also has a screen and it's reversible. So there's two different options to choose from. Over by one side, we have a website that says, Welcome to the American Girl Hotel and Spa. It shows different rooms and suites and you can make a reservation. Then over in the back, it talks about the actual spa and the different services. So we're going to choose the hotel and spa. There's an opening over by the top of the monitor. That's where you place the screen and then you place it into the monitor like so. We already added this item over in the hotel section of the setup, but I'm just going to place it over by the front counter here. And then we also have a bell that's a part of the set. The back design featured on the wall is so pretty and perfect for a spa. We have some cherry blossoms and trees and there's some fountains and butterflies as well. There's a little shower head over the side here, but that's just for design. That's not actually a part of the setup. Then it says American Girl Hotel and Spa over there with a plant design too. The bath is a standalone item. It's not attached to the hotel and spa, so you can move it out of the way and you can add it over to the hotel side or display it over in the spa section. I have it over in the spa section and it fits in this compartment perfectly. There's a hot and cold tap. It does twist from side to side. It doesn't actually work. The bath is just for decoration only, but I love how they added this blue green plastic to make it look like there's water in the bath. I already had the towels displayed over by the lounge chair on the other side, but I just grabbed one of those towels so we can have it over by the bath like that. You can have the logo displayed over in the front, but one of my favorite items apart of the set would definitely have to be the sugar scrub. I love the detail of this item. So it does come with a lid. It says sugar scrub over at the front, but you can remove the lid. And there's actually an indent over in the middle to make it look like it has been used. I love the detail of that item because normally the lids are shut in jars and you can't open it up, but this one you can. Then we also have a spoon as well, and it looks like some of the sugar scrub has been added onto the spoon already. So we'll have that added onto the jar like so, just so it looks like it has been opened. And here we have an overview of the spa section of the American Girl Hotel and Spa with the counter over by one side and the bath over by the other side. What I love about the set is that we have the hotel section over by one side and the spa section over by the other side, and you can mix and match all the different accessories so you can style the setup however you'd like. For example, you could add the lounge chair over by this side of the spa section, or else you can add the bath over by the bathroom section of the hotel room setup. Overall, I would definitely recommend the set. It's very stylish and it comes with multiple different accessories and items you'd normally see in a hotel room setup. And this set is called Cubby's Backstage Set. It is a part of Cubby Shomer's collection and she's the girl of the year for 2023. And it is the perfect item to add a part of Cubby Shomer's collection as her storyline is all themed to the performing arts. As I show each accessory item part of the set, I'm going to be setting it up so you are able to see the set styled overall. So there are quite a few smaller accessory items a part of the set itself, so all I'm doing is unwrapping the packaging so we can take a look at the different items. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first main feature item part of the set. It is the vanities. The set itself is mainly purple, but there's also some gold and pink too. These lights do actually turn on, so once you place batteries a part of the vanity, you can press the light button and it turns on. And then there's also a button next to it and it plays different music options too. It says hello gorgeous over by the bottom of the mirror and there's some counter space over on the front. Over by the side of the vanity, we're going to be placing down this vase. There's a total of three different roses, so we already have two of the roses in the vase itself, and I love how they're not stuck into the vase so you can display them in different areas. There's some detail over by the front. We're going to add that over by the other side, and we'll just place that there. We also have a snack bar here, and it says that it's almond flavored, so that can go there. And then over by the other side, we have this lovely little sign that says celebrate yourself. I love the detail of it and it looks so realistic as well. We're just going to place that over by the other side of the vanity. We're just going to be adding an item over by the hook here and it is the makeup case. So it does open and close and there's two pieces of Velcro so it stays in place. There is some netting over by the top and then there is a larger pocket over by the bottom. So we'll place that there. And then we're going to just add some items to it as well. So there is this spray bottle. It says spray and style, which is perfect for styling hair. That doesn't have any liquid inside of it, but you can add it in later on, just some water. And then we also have this flower clip, which is so pretty. There's a little clip over by the bottom and I love how it's green, so you can't really notice it. So it opens and closes. We're going to place that just over by that top compartment. The set does come with a director's chair. It does fold up, which is really great for storage. We're going to leave it open for now, but there's some purple detail over by the top here. And for the actual seat too, you can actually remove this top compartment. We're going to place it down here for now. 
The set does also have a cushion, so it's double-sided. So here's the first side, and then the second side is themed to New York and Broadway. I'm going to place it over by this side. It's so gorgeous. Then there's also a little headset that can just sit over here, and then we also have a coffee cup too. So as you can see, this section is completely styled and decorated. Over by the back of the vanity, there's three different hooks, so you can add items or accessories to that, and there's some detail here with a rope and some brick. There's also another hook over here, but the set does come with this poster board that you can add over by the hooks, and it is double-sided, so this side shows a pin board with different photos and rehearsal schedule. Then there's also a props box there too, and then this side's more themed to Broadway. It's very bright and colorful. I'm going to choose this side, so all you have to do is place it like that, and it fits perfectly in the space. The set does also come with a sheet of stickers. You're able to decorate the vanity itself. They have different words and quotes on them. And there's also different musical theme stickers too over by the other side. One of the main feature items of part of the set would definitely have to be the rolling cart. There's a total of four wheels and the set does actually move around from side to side, which is really great. The set is purple and there's also some gold as well. And there's a section over in the top middle. So you're able to display different outfits. So we're going to add some of the outfits that are part of the set. So first off, we have this little romper jumpsuit. So there's some shorts. It's very glittery. There's some Velcro on the back and I've already attached it to a hanger. So that can go there. Then we also have this skirt here as well. It's very gold, very glittery. I'm just going to fix the hanger up like that. There's also a piece of Velcro over by the back and we're going to place that onto the cart as well. And here we have the shoes that are a part of the set. They're black and they're very glittery. They're not made out of a cloth material, but they do actually bend. We're going to add them over to the side of the cart like so. And to complete the rolling cart set, the set comes with this attachment that you can add over to the side. So on this side, there's a mirror and over on the other side, there's a poster. It says star on it. I love how there's purple to match the theming of the set. You can go ahead and remove the clips and reattach them again. The set comes with a total of four of these plastic hangers. They say American Girl on the side. I'm going to be adding three of them to the rolling cart and we'll be placing the fourth with the rope. One of my favorite items apart of the set would definitely have to be the shelving unit. I love how stylish it is. It's a gorgeous pink color. It's made out of plastic and there's different cube compartments. So you're able to display different accessories apart of the set. Over by the top shelf, we're going to be placing down this decor item. It's styled like a music note, which is perfect for Cubby's collection. And I love how the bottom of the music note features hearts. Then we also have this card, which is perfect for a storyline. It says, celebrate unique you, a musical review. And it talks about the performance that Cubby was in with her friends. They performed a Bollywood dance and it shows the different program with the intermission over in the middle. And then here's what the back looks like. We'll go ahead and place that next to the decor item. The set comes with a total of two different storage containers. This one is more of a teal blue and the other one's more of a darker blue, but I love how it's clear so you're able to see what's inside. We're going to be adding in some hair accessories to this box. So first off, we have a brush here. There's a flower design and it's a dark blue color and there's an elastic piece over by the back. So you're able to place it on the hand so it stays in place. And then we also have some hair ties as well. There's a total of six in blue, green, and yellow. We're going to add that right next to the brush like so. Over in the middle compartment, we're going to be adding in some makeup items. So there's a makeup palette here. There's a star design over on the front and the colors are so bright and colorful. The set does also come with a cup. It says inhale and exhale on it. And there's a total of two makeup brushes. The handles are blue and pink. We're just going to place that over by the side of the palette. And to complete the shelving unit setup, we're going to be placing down this water bottle. There's a lovely design on it. You can see that it's a light blue and a dark blue. And we're going to place it right next to this storage compartment. It's styled exactly the same as the other one that we placed earlier, except it's a darker blue. And here we have an overview of the shelving unit with the rolling cart. All these items are really stylish and perfect for any backstage setup. So let's go ahead and move right along to the stage. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stage itself. So there's three different frames, but they're all connected together on the top and also on the bottom. And what I love about the stage is that you can move it all the way out or else you can fold it in. And that's also really great for storage. You can completely fold it together. So you can go ahead and store that away when you'd like. So let's go ahead and add the curtains. The set comes with a total of two of these curtains. So you can place them one on either side and they are double sided. So there's two different options to choose from. So on this side, they have a glittery silver design. And then on the other side, they have this red velvet, which is very fancy and perfect for any performance. And there's a total of these five clips. You're able to attach it to the stage itself. To attach the curtain to the stage, we're just going to place the clips just over by the front here like that. And they should be able to stay in place. So we'll add two over by this first triangle, one in the middle, and then two over by the last triangle. And as you can see, it stays in place. I love how it's all gathered here just to make it look more realistic. And then as you can see, it's set up like a stage. So I'll go ahead and add the other curtain over to the other side. 
The set also comes with a decor item. As you can see, there's quite a few different stars on it. They're glittery and pink, and they match the theming of the set itself. So there's two different attachments, one on either side, so I'm just going to place it over here just so it's on top of the stage. There are also some poles on either side of the stage, so you're able to add different outfits. So this could be the backstage setup. So as you can see, I have the robe here that's a part of the set, and I've also just placed a hanger so we're able to display it. There's a star on the back, and there's a pink stripe design on it. We're just going to place that over here. A performance set would not be complete without a microphone, so the set does come with a microphone stand and you can actually move the top attachment so the microphone can move up and down. And the set comes with a microphone too, there's a handle on the side and I love how it's not attached to the actual stand so you can move it around. We're going to place it on the stand like this, it clips in place like that, and we're just going to leave it here like so. Here we have an overview of the set itself with all the different items together and the accessories too. I really like how the set is in separate pieces so you're able to decorate and style the setup however you'd like. We have the vanity over in one section with the shelving unit with the backstage setup and then we also have the rolling cart too. It's also really great how it's themed to musical theater because that's perfect for Cubby's storyline and collection. So thank you so much for watching this video and I really hope you enjoyed it.